All right, everybody, what's up? Brian here, and this is my thoughts on last night's episode of Impact Wrestling. Uh, coming hot off the heels of this past Sunday's Slammiversary event, which I thought was an amazing event, an incredible event. Um, I would recommend checking it out and judging for yourself. Uh, I know I said in my review of Slammiversary that I thought it was better than Extreme Rules for, uh, from WWE, and I thought it was. I thought Slammiversary from Impact Wrestling really delivered on all fronts. So, um, last night's episode of Impact uh, featured the fallout from that event. Uh, we kicked things off with Austin Aries, who um, on Sunday at Slammiversary retained his Impact World Championship over Moose in a very competitive main event. Uh, he came out, cut a promo, talked about that match on Sunday, saying that, you know, any, everybody else that walks around uh, saying they're the man, saying they're the best, can't really do that except for him. Uh, then out of nowhere, uh, he would be attacked uh, by Eddie Edwards, who also scored a big victory on Sunday <clears throat> over Tommy Dreamer in that House of Hardcore Rules match. Eddie would come out from uh, would sneak up behind uh, Austin Aries on last night's episode. When Austin Aries turned around, he would get hit with the kendo stick that was passed. Uh, Basically, like a symbolic passing of the torch from Tommy Dreamer to Eddie Edwards on Sunday, he Eddie would use that kendo stick on Austin Aries and hit him in the gut and knock him out. Uh, he would then make it very clear that he is going, he is coming for that Impact World Championship. Uh, so basically, this is the start of a feud to probably that will end at uh, Bound for Glory, which takes place in October. And this year's Bound for Glory will take place in New York City. I believe at the Melrose Ballroom in New York City. So that should be huge. Uh, I think it's going to be on October the 14th. So um, this is one match probably that looks like it's going to happen um, as far as Austin Aries' next feud for the world title. Uh, as far as his world title reign, looks like it's going to be Eddie Edwards that might be next in line. Uh, to face him, uh, we saw on last night's episode uh, two guys that were involved in, a, in the four-way match that opened up Slammiversary on Sunday. Uh, Petey Williams, the Canadian Destroyer, he took on Bonesaw uh, Taiji Ishimori. This was a fantastic matchup between these two, like I said, coming off the heels of that four-way at Slammiversary. Both guys, you know, could not have been at 100% going into this match last night against each other. But they toughed it out. They delivered a great match. A lot of back and forth. Uh, but in the end, it was uh, Taiji Ishimori picking up the W over Petey Williams. Uh, after the match, uh, the Desi Hit Squad will heat Raju and... Um, uh, uh, going to Sunder Singh. Uh, they would come out with Gama Singh and they would attack both Ishimori and Petey Williams. So obviously that sets up a feud for uh, where Petey and, and Ishimori will probably want to look for revenge. So that should be interesting to see what happens there. Um, we saw Tessa Blanchard in action. She took on Rebel and was a real fast match, nothing really exciting. Of course, Tessa coming off the heels of, of Slammiversary, scoring a win over Allie at that event. She then would pick up the win last night on Impact over uh, Rebel. So no real surprise there. Um, speaking of Allie, we heard from her last night. Uh, she, was, uh, she cut a promo talking about um, her match at Slammiversary against Tessa Blanchard. Uh, she then would blame herself for uh, Sue Young putting Madison Rain into a casket uh, after uh, the Knockouts Championship match. 
at Slammiversary in which Madison lost to Sue Young at, and then afterwards, Sue Young would put Madison into a casket. Uh, she then, or Allie would then make it very clear that that's never going to happen again, um, and she doesn't care if she had to, she has to go it alone. Uh, she then would be uh, joined by uh, Kira Hogan, who basically told her that if you're going after Sue, then I'm going after Sue too. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how that whole situation plays out um, going further. Uh, we saw Johnny Impact in action. He was victorious at Slammiversary on Sunday. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm bringing up Slammiversary a lot. I thought it was a really great event, um, and I would recommend checking it out and judging for yourself. But uh, Johnny Impact, uh, he was in a match against Trevor Lee. It was okay. It was a good. It was a good match. Um, Caleb Connolly, who accompanied Trevor Lee to the ring. He got involved a couple of times, but in the end, Johnny Impact with Starship Pain uh, defeated Trevor Lee and scored the win there. And then afterwards, uh, would make it clear that he's got some unfinished business with Congo Kong and that he plans on taking Congo Kong down to Slamtown. So, obviously, that whole thing, whole bit of uh, business between... Johnny Impact and Congo Kong unfinished there. Of course, Congo uh, Congo Kong responsible responsible for Johnny Impact missing. I believe it was a few months of action due to an injury. So um, it'll be interesting to see where that picks up um, in the coming weeks. Um, we would then hear from Austin Aries backstage. Uh, he would. Uh, be confronted by Anthony Corelli. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, was Santino Morella in WWE. Basically, Austin challenged uh, Anthony Corelli to a match. Anthony Corelli said because of you know neck issues and he's not medically cleared, he's not going to fight him. Then Austin Aries challenged um, one of Anthony Corelli's uh, students to a match, and the student accepted. So. Looks like we're going to have a world title match uh, maybe next week. I don't know for sure, but um, that's going to be a huge match. I didn't catch what the kid, what the student's name was, so if anybody knows, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, what else? We heard from uh, King Hernandez and uh, Homicide, the OGs, talking about their match on Sunday and basically with LAX and saying that the war, they may have won the battle, or LAX might have won that uh, match, but they didn't win the war, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, oh, what else we had? Um, we saw some poor some poor innocent guy get, get his hair, hair, hair shaved by Sammy Callahan and OVE. In the, in the bathroom, uh, of course, Sammy Callahan lost uh, to Pentagon Jr. on Sunday in a very bloody and brutal and uh, chaotic uh, mask versus hair match um, on Sunday. And he basically, uh, Sammy, OVE, they basically took it out, took all their uh, aggression out on this um, I should say not even aggression, but they took their vengeance out on uh, this poor innocent guy who was just going to the bathroom and basically cut his hair. So, um, oh, let's see what else. Um, and then, of course, that brings us to the main event. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm a little rambling. Uh, it was the a rematch for the X Division Championship. It was Matt Seidel invoking his rematch uh, to challenge Brian Cage for the X Division Championship. Uh, this one was good, just like their match at Slammiversary. I thought it could have been a little bit better, but it was, it was, um, it was good. I thought, in my opinion, uh, Brian Cage retained the uh, uh, the drill claw. Uh, a lot of back and forth. Like I said, I thought it was a pretty good match. Uh, 
Um, it was probably on the same level as their match at Slammiversary. It could have been better, but it is what it is. Uh, so Brian Cage is still the exhibition champion um, after last night's impact. Um, overall, um, I'm trying to think with trying to think with there was one other segment. Um, I believe it was with uh, Eli Drake giving Joe Hendry, uh, Katarina, and uh, oh, what's the other guy? Uh, Grado. Uh, a gift, which they wound up throwing in the trash. So uh, that'll be interesting to see what happens with that. But my overall thought on last night's episode of Impact, coming off the heels of Slammiversary, I thought it was a real good episode last night. Um, a lot of action, a lot of uh, future storylines taking shape. Um, and one other segment I forgot to mention was with Falaba and KM. KM um, basically telling Falaba that you know they he he wants to find Fala's uh, inner um, mean streak or something like that. And so that'll be interesting. But overall, my overall thought on last night's episode, I thought it was a really good episode last night. So with that being said. Uh, if you guys watched last night's episode of Impact, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Um, and what are you guys interested to see going further as we head into uh, our, we are now on the road to Bound for Glory. What do you guys think uh, as far as, you know, what are you guys interested to see? Uh, what kind of, you know, what matches would you be, would you guys be, in, uh, would you guys uh Oh, what is it? Um, um, I, I don't know. What 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 um, interesting things should impact um, impact wrestling going into Bound for Glory? What kind of matches do you think that they should put together as far as you know storylines and all that? So, uh, with that being said, this has been my review of imp of last night's episode of Impact Wrestling. As always, I am Brian. And thank you for watching.